What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video we're talking about the cheapest way to get a basically 8 port gigabit switch from a reputable company um, that I could find. Now before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. That's a pretty bad number, so if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. I've been looking for an upgrade to my current network for quite some time and I was looking at all these different solutions that were kind of expensive. Unnecessary, I realized. I really only needed about a gigabit per second throughput on any of my given ports. Uh, that's my internet speed. And I don't do local transfers very often. I just needed some extra ports for devices and my four port switch wasn't doing it. So I upgraded to this eight port switch. So this is a TP-Link switch. It comes with a two year uh, warranty, as you can see on top. And um, it is listed as a uh, switch for basic networks. It is the LS1000, or actually, yeah, LS1008G. You can see the uh, model number right there. And this is plug and play. It's gigabit ethernet, it's fanless, and it's green tech. So it's using less power when ports don't need it, uh, which is always nice. It's also full duplex, uh, or half duplex, but full duplex, uh, which means you're getting 1,000 up, 1,000 down, which is very, very nice. Uh, this is the form factor here, so let's see what it looks like. Uh, very clean. You can kind of see it has grooves along where each one of the uh, ports is, which is kind of interesting and nice. Um, I don't know if they line up, do they? Yeah, they all line up, which is kind of cool. Uh, we have the eight ports here, so it's technically a seven port switch with one input, um, which can be auto negotiated. Here's the bottom, so you do have some mounting uh, potential there. You can mount it on a wall or under a desk or whatever you happen to want to do. Uh, there is a dot on the top. I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe just some airflow or something, but, um, you know, that is there. Maybe it's like a reset or something. But either way, uh, this side is the power port, which you can see there. Doesn't say the uh, voltage or wattage, but I will check in the box shortly because it does come with the power adapter. So this is, this outputs 5 volts at 0 0.6 amps. So almost USB status, it could practically be powered on USB, but this is powered um, with this little power brick that comes with it right here. And yeah, I honestly think this is a outstanding deal at like, I think I paid $16 for it. It's absolutely great for a switch, especially with all of them being uh, full duplex gigabit. Uh, I picked this up in a second. I did pick it up in a second. <laughs> all right, that's it for this one. See you in the next video. Peace. The dude with the short fuse for ignorant minds You can learn a thing or two about a new device Unbox and kudos, we rock that pseudo Administrative elevator command We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view He keeps it fresh, always brings something new It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah Mike the Tech, the architect